In this question, we're told about a linear time invariant system and we're given the impulse response. And the question is, what is the value or range of values of k for which the system is causal? Now remember, the condition for a causal system is that the impulse response will be zero for negative time. So we're not allowed to have any non-zero impulse response for negative time. So let's try sketching this. What does it look like? Well, it looks like there's some scaling factor multiplied by a unit step. So, if this value of k happened to be positive, then at t equals minus k, your step would start. Another way of looking at it is this is a unit step that's shifted k seconds to the left, k being positive. So the, the important thing here is that k is positive. So if k was positive, that's what it would look like. Now, is that acceptable? Is that what we are expecting from a causal system? Remember we said a causal system will have h of t zero for t less than zero. So for this side of the time axis, I expect to see zero. So what we have here is no good for a causal system. Now, if k happened to be negative, you'd have, so if k was less than zero, you'd have um, here, you'd have u of t minus, um, or t plus k, t equals minus k, t equals minus a minus number, that would give you positive, and your step would look like this. And this would be minus k, whereas k is negative. And here, for negative time, up till the value of t equals minus k, h of t is equal to zero, so we're okay. So we can say the condition is met as long as k is negative. So the condition k is less than zero or equal to zero because it's as long as for negative time we have zero h of t, it doesn't matter if k um, was equal to zero because if we had k equal to zero, we'd just have a unit step that started at t, which is perfectly okay. So the answer to the question, what's the range of values for which the system is causal? We'll say k is less than zero is the range of values for which this system is causal.